On number 10, there are two ways of solving it. We could do it like the mathematical way, um, or you could plug and chug. Um, if you plug and chug, you plug in the coordinates, and if both sides equal each other, you're right. Um, so you should be able to do that, and then I'll show you the algebraic way as well if you want to be super math tutory. So I'm going to sub this in for y, and what that's going to give me is x squared plus x minus 7 squared equals 169. After I FOIL all of that out, that's going to give me x squared um, minus 14x plus 49 equals 169. <sighs> Let's see if we can make sense of that. That's going to be 2x squared minus 14x. And then I actually need to subtract this over so that it's set equal to 0. And that's going to give me minus 120. I want to factor out a 2. That's going to give me x squared minus 7x minus 60. And then if I want to go ahead and factor that, let me think of what that would work with. That would be x minus 12 times x plus 5. And then x would equal negative 5 and positive 12. In other words, um, None of the answers have a 12 for x, um, but this one, c, has a negative 5 for the x, which we know is one of the answers, so c would be the correct answer. And of course, you could have just plugged and chugged the coordinates from the beginning, too, if you wanted to do that, but that's the math tutory way of doing it.